missionaries from United Kingdom introduced football into Uganda. As I said before, in one of my episodes, that all road leads to mango. Everything that happened in Uganda have a connection to Buddha. Our politicians are graduates of Buddha, King's College. The gunfire that eats the four hills in Kampala during the Civil War The whole passes through Buddha. It seems nothing happened without the consent of Buddha. In the late 19th century, the sport of association, football, first obtain a foothold in the major part of Eastern Africa before spreading into the interior with the establishment of railway lines. Missionary schools and military bases for the colonial armies Obura, the former general secretary of the Uganda Olympics Committee football, was introduced into Uganda by missionaries from United Kingdom, former colonial masters. The missionaries included Robert Henry Walker, George Lawrence Pilkington, and Alexander Gordon Fraser. The Ash Deacon. Walker of the Namirembe Church Missionary Society, who in 1897 introduced the game of football into Uganda. Having arranged for a football to be sent out from England, Walker was supported by Pilkington. They coached the boys at Mango School with games being first played. At Mango, on a large grass field between Kampala and Rubaga. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss your daily source of information on Uganda. Let me be clear. And let's get started. The second playing field 
was established near Old Kampala. Was established near Old Kampala Hill. Below and between Lord Lugard Palace. Another missionary was Fras Francis, who carried a football to Uganda in 1900. And four years later, laid out soccer field at King's School in Budo. A school that was established mainly for the sons of Uganda chiefs. As I said before, nothing passes Budo without notice. A British army officer Captain William Pulteney also gave stimulus to the development of football in Uganda while serving with Uganda rifle. in 1895 to 1897. The King's School Buddha became the forefront in development of football in Uganda. That is, when the Budo Hall Boys was as was established around 1909, football practices took place equally. at the ground of Old Kampala, which later became the Old Kampala ground. It then expanded to Mango High School from Namirembe to Budo Hill school after 1927. The Buddha Hall boys became the United All Budonian, a dominant force in Uganda. They became a dominant force in Uganda. As I said before, they are really a dominant force in Uganda. Because if you follow some of my episode, all those leaders, politicians, engineers, doctors, all leads back to Buddha. 
So it seems every road we take, whether the gunshot that hit the four hills in Kampala during the Civil War, it has to pass through Budo. And you see the force that owes. Buddha together. Somebody knows the secret of Buddha. You see, the football became dominant in Uganda. And the Buddha boys won the Kampala and district league on several occasions. They won the district leagues as late as 1947. The Kampala Football Association was established in 1924, KFA, and it was a major cup competition that followed, known as the Kabakas Cup Football by Kabaka Chua II. Both the Buddhist school and the old boys filled separate sites in the competition. And winning the trophy on a number of occasions. The nature of the competition eventually change with teams like Police Works Department, PWA, or what you call PIDA, and TV, Government Printing Press, Pukesi also joined. Kenya and Uganda Railways and others railway pop up tournaments. The game turned physical. And as a consequence schools, teams, like Buddha school, dropped out of the competition. In 1950, the Kabakas Cup was administered by the Uganda Football Association. And more than 30 teams entered the competition. Up until the launch of Uganda Cup in 1971. <clears throat> you see, if you go back <clears throat> you'll see that during this time 
a lot of football clubs develop themselves in Uganda. And the love for football, as you see, up to today, is rooted in the society. People like it. And we have a lot of fanatics who can do anything to keep the status quo in order. You have some people who has given up on football because of its violent nature. When we used to go to watch football, we go there for pleasure. We go there to have a rest. We go there to see our team playing to win. And after that, you relax, you eat your muchomo, and you drink your beer before going back home. But today, the nature of football has changed completely. You have to be careful that you can be caught up in the mess of hooligans who does not understand what football is all about. So if you look at the team we had in Uganda, we had so many clubs that spring up and we all know that if after 1971 the Kabakas Cup remain the most prestigious cup competition in Uganda. Even in the pre-independent years, we have a lot of cups. We have the Aspro Cup, the Buganda FA Challenge Cup, Luangula Cup, Vict Victory Cup, the Wadro Cup, Badru Kakungula Wasaja, the Prince in Buganda Royal Family, a politician. leader of the Muslim community in Uganda. In 1925, played football match between Budo and Makere University for the Kabakas Cup. And if you look at it carefully, then you know that football is something good that happened to Uganda. At least it tries to bring Uganda together, unite the people, despite all other 
another small incident that happened during football games. Thank you for listening. And remember, I will be back. <laughs>